let's take a look at the main dashboard view within SolarWeb. There is various different information shown here. Firstly, let's look at current power. This is live data being sent by the inverter and any smart meters on site. You can see that the solar is producing 3.07 kilowatts. If we click on this, we can see there are two PV systems, the Fronius inverter system and also an older PV system, which is shown through a secondary smart meter. These are added together to give us that total power. The energy is then flowing to the inverters. Some of the energy is used within the building. If we click on this, we can see the customer has a Fronius own pilot for hot water, and that's at full temperature, so it's not diverting any energy. We can also see some white goods, uh, again with another smart meter, and the general consumption of the site. The total is all of those different loads added together. We can also see that the battery is fully charged, so it's at 100% charge, and there's a small amount of energy being uh, discharged. Most of the energy, however, is being exported back to the grid. As a load is switched on, as we've just seen, the energy flow changes. Now most of the energy is coming into the inverter and going to the loads, with less energy going back to the grid. Next, let's look at the energy balance today. This is updated every hour and it will show in grey any energy from the grid that is used to uh, supply the building and also in yellow any energy that's exported from site. So the perfectly sized PV system would see all of the energy from the solar used for the various different loads or put into the battery and then the battery would discharge overnight as we've seen here covering all of our nighttime demands. Let's have a look in a bit more detail at the energy balance today by clicking on that tab. On the energy balance page, we can view detailed information about how the site uses energy. The blue line shows the power consumed on site. This could be from the grid, from the solar, from the battery, or energy being diverted to hot water or an electric vehicle. The green line shows the state of charge of the battery and the red line shows the temperature of water. You can see that overnight the battery is discharged to cover the loads and as the sun rises in the morning uh, the solar energy is consumed directly on site. Once generation exceeds the demand the battery is charged and once the battery uh, achieves 100% charge surplus energy is put into the hot water. Finally, once water is at the required temperature, energy is exported to the grid. We can also view the data over the course of a month, year or in total, and it's possible to select or deselect individual devices. So for example, we could deselect everything except for the battery, and we can see how much energy is stored in that battery each day. Another useful feature is the return on investment function. This shows you energy savings from your energy bill in green and also in yellow your feed-in tariff payments if you're being paid by your energy provider for exporting energy back to the grid. You can see the total savings for the period in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you want to use this feature, it's important to update your energy prices and we'll show you how to do that a little bit later. And coming back to the main overview page, we can see that earnings that's, uh, and that savings from your electricity prices also shown in that main dashboard view. The CO2 savings for your site is also listed below and that's calculated by a particular carbon offset and that can be changed in your settings. At the bottom here we can see our weather and if you have the premium version you will soon be able to add predicted expected yields for the system. This is a new feature which will be rolled out in 2024. And of course we have a photograph of our PV installation. If you want to update that photo simply click on it and select a new replacement picture.
let's now have a look at some of the more detailed functions. If we click on the analysis button, we can see a graph showing the power of the inverters on site. On this system, we only have the one inverter, but on some sites you may have multiple units or maybe even hundreds. So being able to quickly scroll down the list makes you able to identify inverters which are underperforming. Additionally, if you go to the history page, you can select individual devices and we can look at detailed information. Maybe you want to look at the currents, the voltages of the PV system, and you can understand how well your system is performing. For example, here we can see the PV panel voltages. We could identify whether they're performing as expected or if they're underperforming. Now let's have a look at reports. In this section, we can create a CSV file report for your PV system. We have some common report types such as PV production or the energy balance for the site. So looking at the import, export and self-consumption energy. We can also create custom reports which enable us to use various different channels of data. We can look at daily sums, we can look at detailed values which are five minute intervals. We can of course give the system a name and decide whether we report on an automatic time period or whether we set our own specific times. And we can choose the interval, whether it will be a daily report, weekly or monthly. Once we've chosen the channels of data we want, we can click OK and our report will now appear in the list of automatic reports. You can also find all of your old reports listed below on the screen and you can download those as necessary. Moving on, we can look at service messages. And here we can see important information about our system. If you have an error message listed, it means that the system is no longer working correctly and it needs to be checked by an installer. So if you see errors, please contact your nearest Fronius system partner. We also have warnings, which may mean that the system is working, but possibly with a limitation. And we also have information, which is just uh, for your information and not necessarily relevant to the system's performance. Normally, we'd recommend leaving the information and warning tabs unchecked and only worry about errors that may be appearing. If you are a system supervisor, you can also access the settings. This is where you can make changes to the system. First of all, we can see the profile of the site, the system name, the time zone, currency, our CO2 factor for calculating our energy uh, CO2 offsets. We can also see uh, the information required for our forecasting of yield. We also have the system site address, which is important for the uh, weather data. We can, of course, change the image very easily, as we saw before. And we can have a list of contacts who receive uh, both the reports and the service messages in the event of an issue on site. Under components, here we see a list of all devices that are connected to this system in SolarWeb. First of all, we see our data sources. These are our data manager cards or the pilot boards within a Gen24 or Toro inverter. We see our energy meters. We'll have our primary meter, which is in the feed-in point. This is the one measuring the import and export energy for the grid. We have our consumption or generation meters as well if we're measuring additional devices on the site. We have our own pilot for our hot water. We might see an e uh, EV charger the, the Watt Pilot listed here as well, and also a list of any connected inverters. Devices that can be updated will be shown with a checkbox. You can click on that checkbox to run the latest software update. We can see here that the current system is up to date with the latest firmware. Next, if we go to permissions, we can see a list of all of those people who have accounts 
associated with this system and have access to the data on this system. You can change somebody from a supervisor who can make changes to somebody who is uh, just a guest and has only got viewing rights. Simply change from supervisor to guest, click OK, and they'll now no longer be able to make changes to the settings. Again, if you want to upgrade them from a guest to a supervisor, it's a very similar process. Below, we have the option of guest access links. So this is a copy and paste uh, URL, which can be used to access the data for the system. Also, if you want to have a public display screen, you can show the data. Simply go to soloweb.com forward slash TV on a smart TV or, or tablet, and then you can enter the code listed below, and that will give you a uh, presentation view of the data for your system. Next section is tariffs, and this is very important if you want to be calculating the uh, financial savings from your PV system. In different countries, different terminology is used for the various tariff options. We use feed-in tariff without Freddy Smart Meter for old PV systems receiving a feed-in tariff, whether they uh, are generating the energy and using it themselves or exporting back to the grid. Simply click the Add button, choose the time period that it's valid for, and enter the cost per, in terms of pence per kilowatt. Ensure that you link it to your inverter and click the OK button. You can see now that the feed-in tariff has been linked to your system. And that will calculate the saving of 43 pence for every kilowatt the inverter generates. The reference tariff with Fronia Smart Meter relates to the cost of energy from the grid. So this is looking at an offset of the uh, energy that would have been drawn in from the grid, but instead has been consumed from your solar. And you can see over time, as the energy prices have varied, a different tariff price has been inputted into the system. And then at the bottom, we also have the feed-in tariff with Fronia Smart Meter. And this is used for your smart export guarantee payments. In other words, when you're being, pay you're pay being paid by your energy provider to export energy back to the grid. Hopefully you can see there are many benefits to using SolarWeb for monitoring. We hope that you enjoy exploring the features and benefiting from clean, free electricity. <laughs>